Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to mix together the chemicals that we're going to use to develop color film at home and we're going to use the Cinesteel CS41 kit. So let's talk about what we're going to need to mix up these chemicals. I'm going to use the Cinesteel CS41 kit but you can buy other brands. This is the one that I have and then I have a bucket where I'm going to have my bottles with the chemicals and distilled water. If you don't find distilled water, you can use the mineralized water. Distilled water is preferable. A sous vide, which is going to help us keep the chemicals at temperature while we are developing, and I'm going to talk about this later. This is a thermometer, a timer. You are going to find this into the packet here that we're going to open. It's just a manual, so we're going to follow instructions. And I've also printed myself out this bigger because this is very small as you can see so this is the instructions that we are going to follow and i have printed this bigger and then i have a towel to protect my surface gloves to protect myself because these are chemicals and then we have measure pictures i have two you can use one and wash it and reuse it because you don't want contamination between the chemicals but i just figured that I could buy two and two funnels and something to mix and stir your chemicals while we are making this. And then you're going to need bottles to keep and store your chemicals. I'm going to give you my advice when it comes to which bottles to buy. So for these bottles, there are three main things to keep in mind. There are three things that can ruin your chemicals once we have mixed the chemicals. So there is light, air, and time. For light, you want to buy bottles that are black. So no light can filter through it because the first bottles I bought when I started developing a home were made out of glass and I pretty soon realized that those were not working because light could go through. So these are black and the light does not go through. And you want to store these bottles in a cool, dark place. So especially during the summer, because last summer I definitely damaged my chemicals because I wasn't storing my chemicals in a cool place. And then for air, which is the second thing that can ruin your, your chemicals. Ideally, you would like to get collapsible butter. Now this one is, look at this one. Once you have your chemicals in it and you're going to put this away to store, you're going to collapse the bottle until you reach the level of the chemicals and then you're going to seal it and close it. The third thing is time. It says on the pocket here that you can use this up to 24 rolls. Ideally, some people can make these chemical last up to, to six months. I tried using this up to six months. It depends a lot on how you're storing this, how you're taking care of your chemicals. But for me, it didn't work. For me, it works up to four months. But again, it's up to you how much you use this, how you store this, etc., etc. Once we will have our chemicals in here, the first thing I'm going to do is label these two because you don't want contamination, but you also especially don't want to mix up the two chemicals because if you use one instead of the other it's going to ruin your film okay so let's start okay so the first thing that we are going to do is fill up this bucket with water i'm going to put the demineralized water in it and i'm going to put tap water in it okay in the meantime that water is filling up the bucket. I'm going to open this here so that I can protect my counter. It depends on where you're doing this. If you have a um, lab or something like that, you're very fortunate I'm doing this in my kitchen, so I want to protect it. So this is what I usually do. I lay out everything I'm gonna need so that I know that I need to use all of this one I'm going to put aside okay let's open this kit while the water is filling up so that I'm going to show you what's inside the kit
Okay, so as I mentioned before, you're going to find the manual, which I already have. You can save this or you can print it out as I did, which is going to be bigger. So the first thing we are going to use is the bath and this is labeled as number one. And then as number two, we have part A and number three is part B. And this one, with these two, we are going to mix to make the bleach and fix. So part one is developer and part two and three is going to be our bleach and fix. Okay, so for the temperature of this water, you want it to be while you're mixing chemicals at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which for me it's 38 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to input that in here. So now it's set at 55 degrees Celsius. I want this to be 38. Again, you want this to be at 100 degrees Fahrenheit for you. 38.0 and I'm gonna leave it so it's going to take the temperature it's going to take the water at 38 degrees Celsius temperature okay so while I'm waiting for the water to get at mixing temperature I'm going to label my bottles ideally you would like to do this once you have filled up the bottles with the chemical uh, but since I'm very organized and I know this one is the first one I'm going to use while well, this one I have far away I know this one is the second one I'm going to use I'm going to already label these bottles so that I can save up some time so I'm going to write dev which stands for a developer on the first one and I don't like to label my cap because I think I can mix the cups and then don't know what's in the bottle. I like to label my bottle, but it's up to you if you prefer to do that. So dev, and I'm going to put it here. And then I already know that these two have different colors. So I know this one is going to be my developer. And then for this, since that one is bleach and fix together, I'm going to, with another color, blue, I'm going to write here Blix. Okay, that's it. These bottles come with their own labels, but as you can see, but once I was washing these and making sure these were dried out, I just removed the label and I like to make new ones with just tape and a pen. Okay, so now the water is at 38 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to remove my distilled water or the mineralized water if you use that. And I'm gonna place it here. And we are going to start with the color developer. So number one, we're going to take a glass or plastic pitcher, one funnel and something to steer. We are going to follow the instructions, the ones that you find into the kit. And it says to place 600 to 700 millimeters of water, this water that we have heated it up, into the pitcher. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, going up to 600, close that. Okay, so the next step is to add to the pitcher the content of the packet number one while we are stirring. So I'm gonna open this. Actually, let me glove up, because that's very important. Okay. Okay, so now that we have dissolved the content of packet number one, I'm going to top up the water until I reach a thousand millimeter always following the instructions. So remove this, put it there, top it up to a thousand. As you can see, I reached a thousand and now I'm going to stir again. Just want to make sure that everything is very well combined. Okay, that's perfect. Put it there. Let's take the developer 
collapsible border. Use our funnel and let's put it in there. It looks like tea, but it's not tea. Okay, perfect. So, if you're only using one of these, you're going to now wash it. Otherwise, if you have two, you're going to put it in the sink so that you know that one is already been used and you don't need to use it. Now, since I'm going to store this, I'm going to collapse it until I reach the level of the chemical and then I'm going to close it. So that there is no air in there. Okay. No light is going through and following instructions, it says that this should store for up to two to six weeks. But again, it depends on how you store it. Now, if you're going to store this, you're going to put it away in a cool, dark place. Otherwise, if you're going to develop a roll now, you're going to put this one again in there and you're going to change the temperature. So for the developer, it's 39 degrees Celsius. I'm pretty sure because I use, always use that. But for you, I'm gonna check in Fahrenheit, it's going to be 102 degrees Fahrenheit. So you want to change the temperature on your sous vide and put it in there. If you're going to put it in there, my tip is to open the bottle, let the air go in and so not have the bottle collapse. Otherwise, it's going to flip uh, but you don't want this to go underwater. So open it, let air go into it, close it and leave it in there so that it stays at, t at developing temperature. Okay, so now we're going to do the second one, but to do that, I'm going to wash my stir thing here. Okay, so let's now do the bleach and fix bath. Let's start with part A. I'm going to open it. I have it here. I'm going to, again, put 600 or 700 millimeters of water into our pitcher. As we did before, I'm going to, and now I'm going to stir while I'm adding the content of part A. Ooh, this one smells. Okay, once you have stirred very well, you're going to put this liquid into the Blix storage bottle. Perfect. In here, we are going to add part B, so the third packet. We are going to add directly into our funnel. Okay, so now that we have added the content of packet part B, so the third packet in here. I'm going to set a timer for five minutes and we're going to wait for five minutes for our next step because there is a reaction that needs to happen between these two chemicals. So let's wait. Okay, so now that we have waited five minutes, we are going to pour back and forth the solution from the bottle to the pitcher. That's one. Okay, perfect. Now that we are in the pitcher, we are going to top it up until a, mi a thousand millimeter of water. Let's top it off up to a thousand and we are going to steer before putting it back into the bottle and now this is our blix okay let's put it back okay let's put this to the wash now i'm going to collapse the bottle until i reach the level of the chemical and I'm gonna close it. So now we have our developer, our Blix, and I'm going to store this following the instructions into a cool, dark place. Okay, so my last tip for this specific kit, the Cinestil CS41, is to stock up on it because I know it tends to go out of stock. 
Uh, so if you are US based, you might want to keep that in mind. For myself, for me, as I live, as I'm based in Italy, it takes a couple of weeks for it to be shipped and delivered to me. So I like to stock up on it for this specific reason. And I like to have those packets ready to be mixed and used. So whenever I need a new batch, I can do it. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Know that there are other tutorials on how to load up film reels, how to develop with these chemicals and how to scan and edit your own film at home. Thank you. We say we were good together